When you put the downward sloping demand curve together with the upward sloping supply curve, you have a center point in the middle, and we call this market equilibrium. Equilibrium represents the balance between what consumers are willing and able to buy and what producers are willing and able to sell. So we have price equilibrium, labeled PE, and quantity equilibrium, labeled QE. We are going to take a look at a couple examples of what we call disequilibrium. Disequilibrium basically is any point that doesn't represent the balance or equal point of what consumers are willing and able to buy and what producers are willing and able to sell. So let's say for example if prices increase from our equilibrium price up to here. Well, let's take a look. Look at where the price is hitting the demand curve. As you know, when prices go up, quantity demanded will decrease. But as prices, meaning our costs increase, quantity supplied will also increase. So this area here, what does this area represent? This area represents a surplus. A surplus is basically telling us that the quantity made, meaning the quantity supplied, is larger than what people want, what people demand. So a surplus is when quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded. In our second disequilibrium example, we are going to take a look at what happens when prices decrease. So, if we move from our equilibrium price to price one, we know that when prices, meaning when costs, go down, the quantity supplied of goods and or services will also decrease. And we know that the law of demand says when prices go down, the quantity demanded of goods and services will increase. So this area between our quantity supplied and quantity demanded points is going to tell us that we have a shortage. A shortage is when the quantity made is smaller than what people want. So as you can see, quantity demanded, quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied.